One of the things I think is it was a civilization that used psychedelics. I think it was a civilization that emerged from shamanism, but did not stay at the hunter-gatherer stage. But the Discover the enigmatic world of Graham Hancock, the daring British author and journalist who has reshaped the realms of archaeology, history, and exploration. Hancock's unique perspectives fuse historical facts, ancient mythology, and daring fringe ideas, crafting a narrative that is as intriguing as it is controversial. Can you handle the 10 wildest conspiracy theories that Hancock has proposed? Are there any chances of these conspiracies being true? Join us on this mind-bending journey as we look into the 10 craziest conspiracy theories by Graham Hancock. Number 10. The Lost City of Atlantis In his relentless pursuit of uncovering historical mysteries, Graham Hancock has dedicated a substantial portion of his work to the mysterious realm of Atlantis. Not drawing from the writings of ancient philosophers and his interpretations of archaeological findings, Hancock presents an unconventional theory. The theory pertains to the existence, location, and ultimate fate of this legendary civilization. Atlantis was initially introduced to the world by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. Plato depicted Atlantis as an advanced society that disappeared beneath the sea approximately 9,000 years before his time. While most mainstream historians and archaeologists regard Plato's accounts of Atlantis as allegorical, Hancock interprets them as a factual account of a prehistoric advanced civilization. In his book Fingerprints of the Gods, Hancock advances the theory that Atlantis was situated in Antarctica. He believes this region was once temperate before a catastrophic event, an Earth crustal displacement, caused it to shift to its current polar location. This resulted in rapid freezing and submersion beneath layers of ice. This theory is grounded, to some extent, on a controversial interpretation of the Piri race map. This 16th century world map depicts the northern part of ice-free Antarctica, information that was supposedly unknown until modern seismic surveys. Hancock further connects the Atlantis narrative with various ancient cultures worldwide. He suggests that survivors of the Atlantean catastrophe scattered globally carrying advanced knowledge with them. With this knowledge, they influenced the architecture and mythology of diverse ancient civilizations, including the Mayans, Egyptians, and Sumerians. He views the sudden emergence of these complex societies as evidence of an infusion of wisdom from a more ancient, advanced Atlantean society. While Hancock's Atlantis theory is controversial and lacks widespread acceptance in academic circles, it has nonetheless ignited interest and debates. It has encouraged individuals to question the conventional timeline of human history. Through his exploration of Atlantis, Hancock invites us to reconsider the past. He proposes that there may be threads of an ancient truth waiting to be unveiled within myths and legends. Number 9. The Mystery of the Pyramids Graham Hancock has some pretty different ideas about the Egyptian pyramids, especially the Great Pyramid of Giza. He thinks they're way older than what most historians believe. According to Hancock, these pyramids, especially the big one in Giza, couldn't have been built by the Egyptians around 2600 BC like most people say. Hancock points to how precise and well-aligned these pyramids are with the stars. He says that making something like this would need knowledge and technology that the ancient Egyptians probably didn't have. He suggests that some super-advanced civilization from thousands of years before the Egyptians must have built them. Also, Hancock thinks the Great Pyramid's location is really important, and not just by chance. It's right in the middle of all the land on Earth, and that's weird. He notes that the pyramid's measurements even match up with some things about space, like the speed of light, which makes it even more mysterious. Hancock doesn't buy the idea that the pyramids were just fancy tombs for the pharaohs. He thinks they had a much bigger and unknown purpose, maybe something spiritual or metaphysical. He even talks about how the king's chambers inside the pyramid might have had some ancient high-tech capability. However, it's essential to know that not everyone agrees with Hancock's ideas. Most archaeologists and Egypt experts don't buy into his theories. But Hancock keeps stressing that the pyramids are still a big mystery. Therefore, he likes to question the stories we've been told about human history. Number 8. The Ark of the Covenant's Hidden Secrets Graham Hancock's fascination with ancient civilizations and their enigmatic artifacts extends to biblical relics, with the Ark of the Covenant taking center stage in his book, The Sign and the Seal. 
As described in the Bible, this ancient artifact was a chest covered in gold, housing the two stone tablets bearing the Ten Commandments. According to biblical accounts, it was lost after the Babylonians sacked Jerusalem in 587 BC. However, Hancock presents a different theory regarding the fate of the Ark and its true significance. He proposes that the Ark of the Covenant was not lost. Instead, it was removed from Solomon's temple in Jerusalem and transported to Ethiopia for safekeeping. All these transpired just before the Babylonian invasion. His theory is built upon a combination of historical research, analysis of religious texts, and cultural narratives, particularly drawing from Ethiopia's Christian tradition. Hancock goes on to suggest that the Ark currently resides in a chapel in the town of Aksum in northern Ethiopia. It is safeguarded by a solitary monk who is bound to the chapel's confines and is the sole individual permitted to lay eyes upon the Ark. While Hancock's claims cannot be independently verified, the belief in the Ark's presence in Ethiopia runs deep among local adherents. But what exactly is the Ark of the Covenant beyond its biblical description? Hancock delves into its potential as an ancient technological device. He proposes that it might have functioned as an electrical capacitor capable of storing an electrical charge. This theory is grounded in the Ark's biblical design, which resembles a capacitor. If this hypothesis holds, it would imply that the Ark was a piece of advanced technological equipment crafted by an advanced civilization. Despite the controversy his theories inevitably generate, Hancock's exploration of the Ark of the Covenant calls us to reassess historical narratives. It also prompts intriguing questions about our past. His theories interweave history, religion, and technology, reminding us that our understanding of the past is an ever-evolving journey. Number 7. The Hall of Records Within Graham Hancock's body of work, the concept of lost knowledge from ancient Egypt takes center stage. Another recurring theme is the notion of a Hall of Records, a mythical old library believed to house the wisdom of a vanished civilization. This concept plays a prominent role in Hancock's research, where he speculates on the potential existence and whereabouts of such an archive. His research often points to the vicinity beneath the Sphinx on the Giza Plateau. The Hall of Records idea comes from Edgar Case, a clairvoyant who believed in it. He said it's a place that holds information about the lost civilization of Atlantis, like their history and technology, written on tablets or scrolls. Inspired by Case, Graham Hancock thinks this Hall of Records might be hidden under the Sphinx. He points to studies that found empty spaces under the Sphinx and mentions old tales about secret rooms and passages in that area. Hancock believes something important could be waiting to be discovered beneath the Sphinx. Hancock speculates that survivors of an advanced civilization, potentially Atlantis, could have created the Hall of Records. According to his theory, the Hall of Records was built to protect valuable knowledge after a catastrophic event. These survivors might be the deities or revered cultural heroes mentioned in ancient texts and myths credited with bestowing civilization upon humanity. Furthermore, Hancock connects the notion of the Hall of Records to other ancient sites globally. This includes Mayan structures in Central America and ancient monuments in India, suggesting the possibility of additional repositories of ancient wisdom. He contends that this knowledge was disseminated around the world by the survivors of the lost civilization, shaping the development of various cultures globally. However, it's essential to note that while the theory of a Hall of Records is captivating, it remains unsupported by substantial archaeological evidence. Mainstream Egyptologists and archaeologists have yet to find concrete proof of a hidden chamber beneath the Sphinx. There's also no evidence of the existence of a global ancient knowledge repository. Critics also question the validity of the idea's origin in Edgar Cayce's readings. This is because the original ideas were delivered in a trance state and are regarded skeptically by many scientists. Despite the controversy surrounding these ideas, the potential existence of a Hall of Records continues to captivate the human imagination. It reflects a universal desire to uncover hidden wisdom and forgotten histories. Number 6. Extraterrestrial Influences Graham Hancock's intriguing theories lead us to explore his perspective on the potential extraterrestrial influences on ancient societies. Rather than asserting the direct existence of aliens, Hancock poses thought-provoking questions about the origins of specific ancient knowledge. He hinted that there might be more to history than our conventional understanding suggests. 
In Hancock's viewpoint, the remarkable technological achievements of ancient civilizations like the Egyptians and Mayans pose a challenge. This is especially true when it is explained solely through a linear progression of human knowledge. He's particularly fascinated by the sudden emergence of intricate architectural and astronomical knowledge in these societies. This ranges from the precision in the construction of the Egyptian pyramids to the advanced astronomical observations of the Mayans. He perceives these accomplishments as indications of an understanding that appears too advanced for their historical context. In his book, Supernatural, Meetings with the Ancient Teachers of Mankind, Hancock delves into the concept of encounters with extraterrestrial beings. He believes these beings may have influenced the rapid progress of these ancient societies. He suggests that such contact could have occurred through altered states of consciousness, possibly induced by psychoactive plants. Hancock also points to recurring themes in ancient art across diverse cultures. A good example is the Therianthropes, part human, part animal beings, which he believes are potential evidence of these encounters. He argues that the striking similarities in these designs may represent shared experiences with otherworldly or supernatural entities. According to Hancock, these entities were interpreted as gods, spirits, or even extraterrestrials. He ventures into the realm of ancient myths and religious texts. He interpreted tales of gods descending from the skies as possible accounts of extraterrestrial visitations. Hancock speculates that these entities might have played a role in guiding early human technological and societal development. While theories of extraterrestrial influence often spark controversy and skepticism, Hancock's explorations compellingly challenge conventional historical perspectives. His audacious journey takes us beyond the confines of traditional archaeology and history. He ushers us into the realms of mythology, psychoactive substances, and potential supernatural encounters. This underscores his position as one of the most thought-provoking thinkers in his field. Number 5. The Sphinx and the Age of Leo Graham Hancock's research emphasizes unraveling the enigmas surrounding the Sphinx, one of the most mysterious statues on Earth. Situated on the Giza Plateau in Egypt, the Sphinx has long been a subject of debate among archaeologists. In collaboration with Robert Boval, Hancock presents an alternative theory regarding the age and purpose of the Sphinx. This theory challenges the traditional beliefs of Egyptology and mainstream academia. Conventional Egyptology posits that the Sphinx was constructed by the ancient Egyptians of the Old Kingdom around 2500 BC. However, Hancock asserts that the Sphinx is far older, suggesting it was built during the Age of Leo approximately 12,500 years ago. This theory hinges on the processional cycle of the Earth, which results in the precession of the equinoxes. This cycle is where different constellations appear to rise just before the sun on the spring equinox over roughly 26,000 years. Hancock argues that the Sphinx was deliberately crafted to align with the constellation Leo in the pre-dawn sky during the spring equinox. Given that the last age of Leo occurred around 12,500 years ago, Hancock contends that the Sphinx's antiquity surpasses the traditional Egyptological dating. Another aspect of this theory involves geological evidence. Hancock points to the extensive erosion on the Sphinx's body, which indicates exposure to thousands of years of heavy rainfall. Now, the region's last significant rain coincided with the end of the last ice age, approximately 10 to 12,000 years ago. If this is true, then his argument regarding the Sphinx's age is strongly supported by weathering evidence. It's worth noting that the age of Leo theory is not embraced by mainstream archaeologists and Egyptologists. They argue that there is no archaeological evidence from that era to substantiate it. Nevertheless, Hancock's ideas have ignited fervent debates. Number 4. The Global Cataclysm Graham Hancock's work delves into the realms of earth sciences and paleoclimatology. Here, he presents a theory concerning a cataclysmic global event that occurred around 12,800 years ago. This was detailed in his book, Magicians of the Gods. Hancock proposes that a comet impact initiated a colossal worldwide catastrophe. This resulted in the extinction of advanced civilizations and a profound alteration in Earth's climate. This theory is in alignment with the Younger Dryas Boundary Impact Hypothesis. The hypothesis suggests that a significant cooling event, known as the Younger Dryas, was triggered by the impact of a comet or meteor. During this period, there was a rapid return to glacial conditions in the Northern Hemisphere following the conclusion of the last ice age. 
This sudden climatic shift caused extensive disruptions to plant and animal life and human societies. Hancock extends this hypothesis by suggesting that the comet strike eradicated an advanced prehistoric civilization. He believes this civilization may be the same linked to his theories on Antarctica and the Sphinx. He proposes that traces of this lost civilization can be found at various ancient sites worldwide. This includes Gobekli Tepe in Turkey, dating back to approximately 9,600 BC, coinciding with the end of the Younger Dryas. Gobekli Tepe features advanced stone architecture and intricate carvings, which Hancock argues provide evidence of knowledge passed down from the lost civilization. Additionally, Hancock points to global myths and legends of a great flood found across various cultures as further substantiation of this cataclysm. He suggests that these flood narratives might represent a collective memory of the devastating event and the downfall of the lost civilization. So far, the comet impact theory has gained increasing support from evidence, such as the widespread presence of impact-related materials at the Younger Dryas boundary. However, it remains controversial among scientists. Critics argue that the evidence can be subject to alternative interpretations and that more direct proof is needed. The idea of a lost advanced civilization being wiped out by such an event is even more controversial. There is currently insufficient archaeological evidence to support the existence of such a civilization during the proposed cataclysmic period. Nevertheless, these theories have drawn heightened attention to the Younger Dryas period and the enigma of humanity's past. They encourage re-examining ancient myths and legends within the context of geological and archaeological findings. This will help enrich the discourse surrounding our comprehension of human history. Number 3. Sacred Geometry and Its Impact on Human Consciousness Graham Hancock's theories on sacred geometry play a central role in his exploration of ancient civilizations' nature and influence. He contends that these ancient cultures possessed an understanding of sacred geometry, reflected in their architectural designs and artworks. According to Hancock, this knowledge profoundly affected human consciousness and spiritual development. His core premise revolves around the belief that specific geometric shapes and proportions resonate with cosmic energies. By incorporating these forms into their structures, ancient societies aim to harmonize with these energies. This helped foster spiritual experiences and altered states of consciousness. Hancock frequently cites iconic sites like the Great Pyramid of Giza, the Temple of Luxor, Stonehenge, and Teotihuacan as evidence of ancient culture's grasp of sacred geometry. He argues that these locations' precise alignments, proportions, and geometric patterns reveal knowledge and sophistication that challenges conventional historical perspectives. Furthermore, Hancock links sacred geometry to his broader theory of a lost advanced civilization. He suggests that this wisdom may have originated from such a civilization and been passed down to subsequent cultures. According to Hancock, this wisdom was encoded in myths, symbols, and architectural plans. He claimed these serve as a repository of information about the universe and consciousness. He proposes that using sacred geometry in ancient sites and rituals potentially facilitated altered states of consciousness and human evolution by aligning with fundamental cosmic energies. This alignment could have enabled these ancient cultures to access insights beyond ordinary perception. Critics argue that correlations between sacred geometry and ancient structures could be coincidental. They also claim that these cultures might not have intentionally incorporated such principles. Nevertheless, the exploration of sacred geometry in the context of ancient civilizations provides a captivating perspective on our ancestors' understanding of the world. Number 2. The Supernatural Graham Hancock's book, Supernatural, Meetings with the Ancient Teachers of Mankind, takes readers on an intriguing journey through human history. It examines prehistoric art and its depictions of supernatural beings. Hancock's focus centers on therianthropes, hybrid creatures that combine human and animal features commonly found in prehistoric art worldwide. These figures are often associated with shamanic traditions, where spiritual mediators entered altered states of consciousness to communicate with the spirit world. Hancock suggests that ancient art's recurring presence of therianthropes may represent real encounters with supernatural or extraterrestrial beings. He theorizes that these encounters could have been facilitated by using psychoactive substances. These substances were prevalent in various cultures and played a role in shamanic rituals. In altered states of consciousness, early humans may have interacted with entities later depicted in their artwork. 
Hancock further speculates that these entities may have served as teachers, sharing knowledge that contributed to humanity's intellectual and cultural development. Hancock links this to a significant leap in human progress approximately 40,000 years ago. During this era, abstract thinking, symbolic behavior, and creativity flourished, leading to the birth of sophisticated art and culture. As you may expect, his theory is not universally accepted and generates controversy. Nonetheless, Hancock's examination of prehistoric art offers a thought-provoking interpretation of early human experiences and spirituality. He suggests we may gain valuable insights into our past and intrinsic nature by studying altered states of consciousness and their role in human cultural evolution. This journey into the mysteries of our history provides a captivating perspective on the evolution of human consciousness and culture. Number 1. The Lost Civilization of Antarctica Graham Hancock has a captivating theory about Antarctica, the frozen continent covered in ice and secrets. In his book Fingerprints of the Gods, he proposes an intriguing idea that underneath the miles of ice, the remnants of an advanced lost civilization may lie hidden. Hancock speculates that Antarctica could be the actual location of the legendary lost city of Atlantis. Hancock's theory hinges on something called Earth's crustal displacement. This geological concept suggests that the Earth's outer layer can shift over the liquid layers beneath, effectively moving entire continents. He believes that around 12,000 years ago, a rapid displacement caused Antarctica, once temperate, to shift to its current polar position. This resulted in its rapid freeze over. To support this idea, he points to the controversial interpretation of the Peary Race Map, an ancient world map that seems to show an ice-free Antarctic coastline. Hancock suggests that this knowledge could have been handed down from a pre-ice civilization. This indicates that advanced societies may have existed much earlier than we typically think. Hancock also draws from myths and legends of ancient civilizations worldwide, seeing connections between their stories and his theory of a lost civilization. He suggests that survivors of this civilization might have influenced cultures in Egypt, Sumer, and the Americas. While Hancock's Antarctic Atlantis theory challenges mainstream thinking and faces skepticism, it captivates many. It serves as a reminder that our knowledge of the past remains incomplete. More mysteries are waiting to be unveiled, possibly even beneath the icy surface of Antarctica. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, click on the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.